FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the uh, Monday edition, Monday the 14th of the of the uh, Tiger. Well, this is the update, the 10 o'clock update. Got a little confused there. 10 o'clock update. Here we go. TFNN. We're looking at the Dow down 46. It was down much more earlier. Had a fabulous, absolutely great breakout day on Friday. It's at 42,825. We're looking to see if it's able to touch 43,000 this week. We're looking at the S&P, much stronger than the Dow, actually, today. We're looking at, where did I put, type it? There it goes. Okay, S&P, click on this, click on that. There we go. The S&P right now is up quite sharply. It is up uh, 38 points and breaking to a new all-time high. This is either brand new. Yes, this is a leg C. I'm going to call it in the daily chart, leg C in the weekly chart, fabulous action, all-time high. Breaking above that inside uh, wedge, oops, inside track repellent zone. That's really important in the monthly chart. And we're at 58.52. Let's go to the QQQ. QQQ is up 5.17 at 498.55. So the Dow is only uh, is down 0.06%. S&P is up 0.66%. The uh, QQQ is up 1.04%. That's really nice at 498.50. Finally breaking out above the highs of, of three weeks ago, but not the all-time high of 503.32. I think it's going to try that this week or very soon. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000 came back from a weaker opening. Now it's up three cents at 221.30. That's very nice action. Not great, but very nice. Meaning that the uh, small caps are starting to find some buyers, and that's really important. Got to see that. The SMHs, let's do that quickly. The SMHs are up sharply, up five at 261.98, still below the 283.07 all time high. Let's go to gold. Gold is <clears throat> down four at uh, 26.73, just digesting huge gains. Dollar, let's see what the dollar is doing. Dollar is up again. Leg C in the day, 103.23. I said if we can get to the 103.13 area, there's a good chance it'll hit the 103 magnet line of the 200 period moving average. We'll see if it does that. Let's go to bonds. Uh, bonds are trading now wow, down a point at 119 and a half, just making lower lows, and the yields are going higher. That should worry the market, but this market seems to be seeing something out there. Let's go to crude oil. Crude oil, as we go to the break, 